everyone, welcome to Sweet Tomato Vine Homestead. I'm Linda, and today I'm out in my chicken run, and I'm about to check on the eggs. So let's see what they got for us today. Okay, so they do have some eggs for us today, and we got two of those large ones that have those double yolks that I was telling you all about. So now I just want to get out into the garden. I want to take a look at things and see what needs to be harvested, see uh, if there's any bug uh, problems that I need to address. So we're just going to take a walk around the garden for a moment and I'm going to harvest a few tomatoes that I see that are ready. I think this squash is going to be giving me some uh, yellow squash very soon. Got another one of these little lemons on here that has fizzed out. Let's remove that. I'm a lemon tree. I noticed this fig was here a day ago, and so I'm gonna go ahead and get it. that the poppy, the California poppy has blooms on it. it, has three blooms, and then the milkweed is beginning to bloom. The Fuyu persimmon is still holding on to its fruit. Here are some tomatoes that I can harvest. I'm gonna go ahead and harvest some of this basil so that I can dehydrate it. And now this rosemary in this time can get some air and some sun. I think I'll go ahead and take some of this purple basil also and some of this marshmallow since they're both uh, going to seed. So we'll go ahead and get some of those. That'll give this plant an opportunity to branch back out. Okay, so that sage is looking really beautiful. I'll have to come and get some of that next. Got another one back here. 
and I love sage. If you all have never tried it, sometimes try putting some sage in some olive oil and letting it uh, fry up, and then you can crumble it over a salad or over some other dishes. It's very delicious like that, or you can just eat it. Okay, I think I'll harvest some okra. be okay but this this fat one right here is only good for some seeds okay so now I'm gonna switch over and I'm gonna get some of these purple hull peas
And I only get the ones that are purple or are I have a lot of purple on them and have that uh, purple stripe down them because that way they'll have, a, you know, be pretty full. If you start getting the ones that are green, now sometimes you'll have a green one that will have, be full and you can, you know, kind of feel for it and see if it's full. But I prefer to wait until it has that, that purple stripe down the side of it. And then I'll start harvesting them at this stage onto the stage to where they are very purple and if you have some that are dried it's best to go ahead and pull them on off of your plant and you can use those for seeds or you can uh, use them for uh, cooking you just have uh, the dried uh, version and it'll be more like uh, black eyed peas instead of purple hull peas you know fresh
are the ones I'm going to sit down and shell today, and I'm going to put them in the Instant Pot. It is strange, though, how I think about shelling peas as getting some rest. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get some rest while I shell these peas, and then I'm going to put them in the Instant Pot. But I have some other things I want to take care of first before I do that. I see some tomatoes in here that I can harvest. I'm going to reach in here and grab them. put these in my apron because I didn't bring my basket. I should have got another basket. That one's full. Take some of these jalapeno peppers. <laughs> These are some big ones. Beautiful red one. Okay, let's see a bell pepper over here. I want to get you all. You just do not know how bad I want to get in here and pull these weeds. But I just can't do it right now. One thing is too hot. Always too hot right now. Yeah, because two things, I don't want to run up on no snake while I'm pulling weed. Okay, you see, I don't think there's anything in this bed that I can get. I see some, give me, give me some tomatoes right here that I can harvest. Oh. The beauties right here. Okay, I got one more thing I need to do. Okay, I see that there is some eggplant that I can harvest. Tomato. This tiny plant is way down with these peppers. The peppers are small, but the plant is small, so I'm gonna take a couple off to kind of get it. When I get three, give the plant a break so it won't break. There's okay, a couple of cucumbers right here. I can go ahead and hold. I just want to stay up on those because I see that they can get so big so fast and I don't want that to happen. I'll take those two.
Okay, so what I want to do, I want to go ahead and put some more bedding into the chicken uh, bedding where they roost at, uh, lay eggs or whatever it's called. But every time I get ready to do it, somebody's always in there. Oh, she just laid an egg. Wow. That is, I mean, y'all, you know we just came and got the egg because she just laid a fresh egg. Just laid fresh egg. Wow, that is amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna put her some fresh bedding in. And I don't take the old bedding out. I just uh, do it, put the uh, new bedding on top. I take it out, uh, you know, occasionally, but uh, not regularly. And there is no smell coming from their uh, chicken coop. Okay, y'all, this is my harvest for today. I have, I uh, think, let's see, two, four, six, eight. 10, 11 eggs. Those are two days worth of eggs because I did not gather the eggs yesterday. So I have 11 eggs, uh, some purple hull peas, some okra, a fig, two cucumbers, some tomatoes, some jalapeno peppers, and some bell peppers, and a chili pepper. I think that's, that's not a chili pepper. This is that purple pepper that turns red. But um, this is a marshmallow, which is a herb, an eggplant, and some basil. I have purple basil and some sweet basil. So that is my harvest for today, guys. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Hope that you will give the video a thumbs up. Hope that you will subscribe to my channel if you already subscribed. I hope that you will go ahead and hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I do upload a video. And as always, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.